All right. So for a little over a month, I was having some chest issues. I want to call it like a U shape around like my heart area. It was a little, you know what I mean? It wasn't just the heart. It was just a little bit around it, but more on the front side. I was attributing it to stress and some other personal things I was doing at the time. So I thought, it, you know, it was just like a stress-induced pain. It was like tight. I don't know if it was really painful, maybe a little bit, but it was just tight in general in my chest and I could tell it wasn't normal. So finally this week, what it would have been like whatever Monday is, today's Friday the 13th in January. So like five days ago on Monday, I went after work real quick to urge you care to get checked out because I just basically had enough of it. Um, because actually on Saturday, I did a 5K and after the 5K, it went down like say 20%, like discomfort. So like the 80% of what it was, which just threw up a big red flag. And I was just like, you know what? It's finally time to go get checked out because after COVID, around Christmas I just figured like my heart and stuff was just going to be inflamed to begin with and sh stressed with the holiday so I was like there's no point in getting checked out and then but then after it went down after the 5k is what really got me thrown at the flags and said enough's enough no. so everything seemed to be alright I did notice like around a little bit like I think a week before Christmas until now my resting heart rate, which is normally like a 54, was up to like 58. I mean, it goes 54, 56, whatever, but it was like steadily like no lower than 58. So it was 58 to 60 ish range resting heart rate, which is, you know, a couple beats higher than normal, which was another red flag I noticed over the last couple weeks. But that I contributed to COVID, you know, because it started like the week of Christmas, like when I had it. So I got the EKG, it was normal for me. It's, you know, I got that weird spike in like, uh, I think it's like four or five on the EKG because I have a slow current on the one side of my heart, but the heart doctor said that's normal. Well, not normal, but he wasn't concerned unless I have some kind of symptoms because there was no block or anything like that that they detected on the one like electrocardiogram or some big test that I had to go to the hospital to do. I forget what it was actually called. Um, anyway, so that came back normal for me. And then they did an x-ray on me of my chest. And they said there was no fluid or looked like any inflammation around my heart or whatnot. Now, what was weird is right at the time I got the x-ray, I went back to the room to set where they looked at the results my heart rate actually dropped down to 48 which is like a sleep uh, heart rate for me and then it steadily went back to that 54 to 56 range like soon as the x-ray happened and I noticed the pressure in my chest also got relieved some so it went from like 80% from after the race down to like 20% now left which is weird because it's unexplainable it was almost like it reset my heart but they're saying my heart and everything's in uh, good and now my heart rate now is normal they're just saying like the cartilage in my chest is probably inflamed on that side but it's weird because it's only on the heart side and not the opposite side of my heart but again it could be like the stress and just different things like that um, it was just a really weird situation because an x-ray really doesn't do anything or not supposed to do anything but like take a picture and it happened so I'm thinking like somehow like that little bit of radiation just like sort of like shocked my system back a little bit to where it was supposed to be I don't know, I'm not a medical professional. <coughs> I mean, the even weirder part is, even that night, it was like 
20% of what it was. I, I, um, I prayed that night, which I don't ever do. And I started wearing like my cross necklace the last couple of days. And it even went down a little bit more pressure wise. Whether things are correcting itself now or whatnot, it's just like weird coincidences. Because I even know, even that day I went um, to urgent care on Monday, I was uh, peeing a lot, which is usually like inflammation, like leaving my system after like a long race. Like if I race on Saturday, like a really long ultra race where I beat my body up some, you know, I carry a lot of water weight until say Tuesday, Wednesday, and then I just like pee a bunch, but like I was doing that on Monday. So I don't know if it's like all weird coincidence that the inflammation was leaving me that day. And I was just finally getting over what was going on. It just so happened I went to urgent care the same day, but that x-ray to me is just unexplainable how it just made my heart rate drop down again and then like the pressure in my chest get relieved so I'm like even if the inflammation was leaving my system like because I was peeing more and there was a bunch of water there's no explanation why like almost instantaneously that x-ray just helped me because that's not what it's supposed to do and then like even after like praying and putting on my cross necklace it relieved it more and I know somebody's gonna say it's like a placebo effect but I wasn't really necessarily expecting anything to happen and it's just weird coincidences how things like that happen once in a while and when they do happen to you just go with it but just as a cautionary tale with all my exercising friends just know your bodies and know when things are normal and start getting them checked out with all the athletes and different people that seem like they're healthy just having random medical issues now so go get checked out if you can because you just don't know what's going on it could save your life I mean how many people are just dropping over now but getting back to my story it's just weird that like it just seems like the tightness in my chest just seemed to go away but then like even after praying like the mental stress just completely vanished and again I'm not a big prayer person it's just weird how sometimes in the most unexpected places things happen when you look for answers so I'm thankful for that and just just wanted a little story to tell people what was going on with me over the last like almost a month and a half um and just like some weird I don't know if you want to call them weird or not I guess it depends on what you believe in but hey, if it helps it helps um I mean there's still some pressure in there I can still feel it but again maybe it might be 10% of what it was I'm not as stressed anymore since I've been wearing the cross. Um, and even like around my heart, the pressure's gone away. So, hey, whatever works.